Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And uh, today has been another uh, rather quiet day weather-wise with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures have warmed into the 80s across the region after a cool start in the 50s this morning. And looking at our weather pattern, we continue to watch a disturbance which is moving into the upper Mi Mississippi Valley. You can see the clouds associated with a cold front uh, that's associated with this system. That front will slowly inch its way through the Arklatex here moving through the uh, nighttime hours tonight by morning it'll be stretched very close to interstate 20 and then we'll continue to slide its way southward through the area tomorrow not expected to really produce much of any rainfall threat and then we'll see lots of sunshine during most of the afternoon for most of the area now looking at future cast here from robin Toyota, you can see that uh, tonight as the frontal system moves in we'll see a partly cloudy sky notice can't totally rule out a sprinkle. The chance is 10% or less at any one particular location. And see, tomorrow we will begin with some clouds. We'll likely end with some sunshine. Expect a clear sky tomorrow night with a few clouds late. And Friday, we'll see the mix of clouds and sunshine. Any rain likely will stay to our west. And that'll be the case for the weekend as well. Some models do slow, show a slight chance uh, for some rain this weekend. But our next best chance of rain likely will hold off until the middle part of next week. Here's a look at how the weather systems will move across the country and you can see upper level ridging which will build in right across the southern plains lower Mississippi Valley by Monday. Very possible we could be close to 90 for a daytime high Monday and then you can see this big trough moving into the west coast by Monday. This is rapidly going to move to the east likely pull up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and produce a chance for some showers and thunderstorms Tuesday night and Wednesday that system will roll through and then we will see some cooler air move in behind it to close out next week. Now models kind of split on exactly how much rain we might see. Uh, this particular model, one of the wettest, shows amounts of uh, one to two inches across most of the area. Other models in that half an inch to an inch range uh, as far as uh, what we might expect rainfall wise and severe weather will be a possibility. Can't totally rule it out a bit early to project on the extent of any severe weather threat that we may have. So here's your forecast for tonight. We're looking at a partly cloudy sky as that front eases into the area. Temperatures will range from the upper 50s north to the low to middle 60s south. That includes 64 in Shreveport, 62 in Texarkana. Tomorrow I expect a partly cloudy sky. Another warm day despite that cold front moving through as highs will range from the low 80s north to the upper 80s south. Looking at 88 for the high tomorrow in Natchitoches, 87 in Shreveport, and 83 degrees for the high temperature in Texarkana. Normal for this time of year in the upper 70s. So temperatures are good to 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. And the above normal temperatures will continue into next week. You can see a slight cool down behind the front Friday with a partly cloudy sky. We'll then see those temperatures warm back up close to 90 by Monday. Uh, the cold front will bring the shop for some thunderstorms Wednesday that could linger into Thursday morning. And you can see what happens behind that front. Highs will fall back to the mid to upper 70s. Lows will eventually dip into the low to middle 50s as we go into next weekend. So all in all, it looks like our rather warm and rather dry weather pattern will continue until a strong storm system moves across our area by the middle part of next week.